What's up, people? What up, people of the YouTube land? This is Sunday Brown Guy. Hope you guys like and subscribe if you're new to this. So, I named this the aftermath because just two days ago, my car, my car, my car, my brand new one from the wreck that I just got, well, it's not new, new to me. It now, the alternator died. So now I have an alternator problem. Hey, what's up? So I was kind of doing a vlog, letting you guys know why I won't be on today. Most likely, I gotta go to the doctors for uh, once again that uh, car issue with the crashing of my car getting hit by a semi. And uh, so that happened just a couple months ago. Uh, still worried about the insurance and all that kind of stuff on that. So my. The other car just sits in my uh, driveway doing nothing uh, until that gets figured out. And then Wednesday, Wednesday, <laughs> I go and take my son somewhere and I come back and sure enough, my car dies on the freeway. So here I am driving down a big old hill and boom, car just dies out, power goes out, everything goes out and I'm just like, my son's like, what do we do? And I'm like, I don't know. We just we just pull over, man. We just pull over. And he was like, okay. And I had to pull over on the side of the freeway and uh, wait for my wife to come. And uh, she was at my daughter's football practice. I had to ruin my daughter's football practice because of it. I called the dealership up. They told me nothing. So thank you for that like. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you for being here. But just low showing you guys a day in the life of Sandy Brown Guy. Things ain't easy, but we just get through them and we move forward. And uh, just don't let things bother you. Like, if you let them bother you, you're just going to live in a bunch of mess all the time. So, just uh, letting you guys know if I don't get on today, I'm going to try and play some Fortnite or some uh, more of that Ragnarok later on today. Uh, a couple friends and stuff like that want to join. And uh, if you guys out there want to join, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, it is true, bro. Thank you for being here. But yeah, I was just kind of letting you guys up to date on what's going going on with me and uh, driving home from work and stuff like that. Figured I'd just do a little little vlog for y'all and uh, let you know the aftermath of my stuff. I said it's going to cost me about $800. I ain't got no money. I just got in a wreck. I just tried to get a car and hope that that would help me out. Guess not. And uh, yeah, so here we are. That's why I always tell you guys, you know, keep trying, keep doing, and don't don't ever give up. Because as soon as you give up, things always go worse. Everything can be worse. Always remember that. You could always be in a ditch or you're dead. But at least you have somebody. Life is a lot more precious. Life is precious. Life means a lot. And if it means nothing to you, then you should go out and get more done. That means you ain't doing enough. That means you're afraid of something. Don't be afraid. Don't ever be afraid. Everybody is able to do it. Y'all got minds. Y'all got brains. So don't, don't, don't give up ever. Don't, don't. And when you hit that wall, just keep on climbing. Don't, don't, don't just let that wall beat you. Don't let that wall be too big. Because walls are just walls. They're there to be climbed. They're there to be beat. They're there to be destroyed. They can only block you for so long. But then you find your way. Boom! You're on to a new place now. You don't have to worry about nothing. And uh, if you don't think anybody out there loves you, they probably do and you just don't know it. You haven't said nothing to them. So I bet you if you let people know about your problems say what's up to them every once in a while then you won't have problems yeah you can only do three emojis three emojis bro I think that's the max like two or three now I can't read your comments because they got deleted I don't even know what you said on the second one because I couldn't read it but yeah that's just uh, letting you guys know what's going on in my uh, my life right now and uh, so today we're gonna go and see if we can get an alternator, see if I can do it myself and uh, get it done cheaper. I mean, $800 is expensive. I mean, I think 
the alternator only costs like $200, and if it only costs $200, that means it's $600 in labor, and that's ridiculous. That means just people are ripping people off all the time. And that just sucks. It's almost like a doctor bill. It's like, this procedure costs $10,000! It's like, no it don't. It's like, you made it cost $10,000. Probably it's like, fuck it, you guys only get paid 40, like 100 bucks an hour, and it's like, it's only a two hour procedure, so it should be a two hour, two hour fucking, a two hour thing. So it's a two hour thing, you make 200 bucks, not 10,000. But that's just the way life is, and that's the way we get robbed all the time in life. Just like, uh, it's like car problems. I can just tell you what they want want you to do. There's no, there's a designated, but it's no real designated because they can just say what car it is. Be like, oh, you, you have a fucking Ferrari, so yours is gonna cost one thousand dollars versus the guy that has a, a fucking Toyota that cost him only three bucks. It's like what? But it's just a car part. It's all all metal, right? It's all the same metal. Nothing really special about that one versus that one. Just a, a Ferrari version. That's weird. All right, I'll pay. But yeah, it's just crazy life, crazy stuff happens. One day things will work out. One day things will work out. That was losing a bad signal right there. I'm hoping one day things will work out. Everybody tells me on YouTube and all you viewers out there, that's why I appreciate you guys so much. Is uh, You guys tell me I can make it and I can do it, so it's all, always good. Alright. Thanks, bro, for letting me know. Appreciate it. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the like. But yeah, just, just letting everybody know and all those other people that want to know or anything about me. I'm actually been thinking about just doing a uh, vlog. Alright, see ya, bro. Is that Victor Gaming? Victorious. Alright, alright, alright. But yeah, I've been thinking about doing a video vlog. A video vlog of my life. My life and the people around my life. The people who join my life, the people who are in my life. I've been just thinking about doing just a. Uh, an everyday life thing too. Just so you guys know what I'm doing besides what I'm doing, playing video games and stuff like that. It's just what I like to do. I would love to play video games all day. But you got real life stuff, like the stuff that's going on right now. Dang. On the freeway slowing down to 45 miles an hour. That make no damn sense. That make no damn sense. People don't know how to get off on an exit. It's an exit, guys. You still gotta get off of it. You're supposed to deaccelerate a thousand miles an hour off. Look at that guy. He got two cars ahead of me. He's so awesome. But yeah, that's my life. That's why I was pulled over on the freeway right over here. It was stopped just the other day because of, uh, you know, a car breaking down. I was just like inches away from the house too. I was like, oh man, I'm so close. So close to the house. I'm like, oh, so why can't I make it? me on an exit like why was if I needed to exit you can get over and you're just gonna sit in that lane the whole time that doesn't make no damn sense like pace me bro it makes no sense why would you get over when you could or get the hell away from the lane that people are trying to merge into make no damn sense make no damn sense maybe that's what I should do that should be my my, my catchphrase thing make no damn sense that make no damn sense. <laughs> Be 
be like, that make no damn sense. I'm gonna do that as my, uh, as my catchphrase, I guess, no damn sense. Make no damn sense. I don't know, maybe. Huh. But yeah, I was just kind of video vlogging on the aftermath of uh, trying to get my car fixed and I thought I got a brand new car. Well, I didn't get brand new, it was an 07, so it's not new. New to me, because, you know, I'm not the richest man in the world, so. And then, boom, shakalaka! Craps out on me on Wednesday. Yay, my alternator went out. So now I got to figure it out, and now I get to, uh, figure it out and pay freaking like $800. It sucks. Yup, it does. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We vlogging on the road, on the road, on the road. Vlogging on the road. But yeah, I'm just uh, having fun, entertaining everyone. Do, 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 do. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Ah, oh, there we go. So I don't know what happened. Now it says 25 minus. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, people. But yeah, or just, uh, I don't know what happened. My phone died all of a sudden. Just up and died. I plugged it in, and it was at 17% when I plugged it in. So I don't know. Uh, but it went down. So I don't know how long or what that does to the to the videos and stuff like that. What up, Robert? The stream is offline. I think it should be resuming now. Is it up now? Is it still offline? I don't know if it's still offline. It's up. All right. But yeah, I was just uh, letting everybody know I was doing a little video vlog. Uh, I didn't let you guys know yesterday. I didn't want to put it on. It's all. It's good. All right. I didn't want anybody to get all, uh, you know, my life stuff. But I'll let you guys in on my life. Uh, yeah. Um, 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 so I got a new car. I got in an accident uh, a month and a half ago. I got hit by a semi on the freeway. Uh, it kind of messed up my car. Uh, I don't really want to drive it. It's drivable, but it's just like crushed up on the side of it. Um, so I went and got a new car, a newer car, new to me, like 10 years new, newer than my old car, uh, an 07. And uh, <clears throat> on Wednesday, I took my son to uh, I took my son up to uh, to a, a place where he get his band instrument, and uh, we get off and go back home, and and uh, we get back home, and uh, sure enough, uh, right as we get down off this big ass hill, uh, my car starts shutting down, everything just shuts off. I'm like, oh, what the hell? And I had to pull over on the freeway. It was like uh, 6 o'clock at night. It was on that Wednesday. Uh, yeah, I got stranded out there. I had to wait for my wife to pick me up. Uh, the, we thought it was the battery. We tried to jump it. It didn't start up. So I'm assuming it's the alternator. We had to get, a, go and get another battery just to get it out of there. Uh, with the, the semi-accident, I'm fine. I mean, it was more of a mental thing than anything. And, uh, yeah, it was just a mental game. Like, I had emotional distress and, uh, and, uh, stuff like that where, um, it just, it just messed me up when I was forklift driving and all that stuff at work and stuff like that. I didn't want to drive so much. I was afraid of people hitting me or me killing people. Uh, a lot of racing thoughts through my head. Uh, I had a lot of depression. Uh, they gave me pills for it. I couldn't take them because they weren't helping me out. They were just knocking me out and putting me to sleep and... My mind wasn't working right, so I stopped taking those and started thinking different. Moving life, moving forward, not worried about nothing, not not stressing about stuff, you know. Well, stressing, but not not giving it out to everybody and worrying about it. But yeah, that happened a month and a half ago. Thought I was getting back on page. Uh, been trying to save up some money. I've been trying to move this YouTube channel and all that kind of stuff. I ain't got no money for all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, so then next thing you know, I, uh, get home and 
I'm like, oh, it's just an alternator. It should be an easy fix. Should be not that big of a deal. No, it's turning out to be like an $800 problem. $800. So, simple fix. Everybody tells me it's easy. So, I'm not trying to stress it too much. And then, I, you know, we go and get it checked out today and looked at. And sure enough, it costs a lot of money. A lot of money that I don't have. Um, and now I can't play video games today. So, I figured I'd do a little vlog for y'all just to let you know why. Um, cause I gotta go to the chiropractor for, uh, that a car accident. So that's every Monday and two, Monday and Thursdays. Those are the days I'll be coming in late and I'll be gaming more around four or six instead of my one thirty schedule. And that's because of the car accident. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for that like. And now I get to deal with a broken car that I just bought and the dealership and all that stuff. I just bought that not even a month ago. And the dealership pretty much told me, yeah, sorry, bro. I'm like, wow, you guys sold me a crappy-ass car. Like, you guys did that, not me. I didn't do anything. I just tried to get a deal, and I told you guys my predicaments. I told you guys I ain't rich, and I told you guys I ain't got money like that. Well, I'd be buying a better car. I mean, come on. But, yeah, so that's just what happens. That's just life, and we live it. And uh, like I tell everybody, you can only get better from there. You can only get better as long as you don't let that stuff bother you. And I was telling somebody today, like, they're all like, man, I'm so upset with this person and that person. Fuck them. Fuck that. And blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, don't worry about that. Don't, don't, don't say stuff like that. Don't be like them. Be like you. Because you, you, you know, you're the man. You're, you're the one that kicks ass. You're the awesome dude. Like, don't let those bad people bring you down. There's no reason for that. There's no reason, because it just makes you better. And then when they're just bad, then they're just probably angry at you because you're so awesome. That's it. They're just angry because it can't be you. But all they have to do is just try. They could be just like you. They could be just like anybody. They could be that doctor, that lawyer, that anybody. The guy that talks on the camera. What? Anybody. Uh, the guy that tries to make it on YouTube, the guy that tries to make a music video, the guy that tries to make a rap. I mean, those are all people that thought they couldn't do it, and they just kept trying, and eventually, one day, something went right for them. I mean, even the people that barely make it. I mean, there's people out there that make it, and they, they get a little touch of fame, and that's all they needed. But they tried, and they did it. They did it. And that's what matters. It's because they tried, and they did it. And that's what I cherish about a lot of people. Because, I mean, there's a lot of stories out there where people are like, they did this and that, and they, I, you know, and they got stuff done. And I'm just like, wow, how'd they do that? And it's like, man, I didn't, I didn't sleep. I didn't do this. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just, I just kept moving forward. And I was just thinking like, man, one day I'll, I'll be somebody. I'll be great. I can be somebody. And that's what I think every day is that every time I see you guys come on here, just one of you guys, just two of you guys, or ten of you guys, or thirty of you guys, just you YouTubers out there, and watch all this stuff, and uh, come in every day and like my videos, I, I, it just means so much to me, because it means that maybe my trying is doing something, or maybe one day, like today, this video will make somebody else change their mind on how they think, and then that's good enough for me, I'm happy with that, I don't need all that money. I, I would love it. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not hating, like, because they're, you know, money is something. But I'd rather see people happy. I'd rather see people not worried about life and what's going to happen to them next. And if we all just think that things are always going to turn up better eventually, because some people have shitty lives. I'm one of them. <laughs> and then you just move forward. And you just get up, you smile, you look at everybody, you smile. I mean, you got days. P. I followed your advice. What? What did it say? I, I, I just totally just seen it pop up. I followed your advice to just be me and I got a girlfriend. What? That's awesome. That's super awesome, dude. That's cool. See, that's what I like to hear. I had one of my other viewers that I was helping out with his his problems and stuff and he was just 
he was talking about all his problems and things just not going right for him and everything's so wrong and i told him i said just stay positive bro stay mm -hmm. positive and you'll you'll eventually get there and uh, things will work your way and you just gotta let people know that's the biggest thing is letting people know like everybody's afraid to say something and it's don't be afraid don't be afraid to say something if you have depression let people know maybe you can get some help or maybe they've been through the same thing and they ain't letting nobody know. And they have the same problems. Because they nobody lets anybody know. And it's not like you want them to be there for you and take care of you and all that kind of stuff. Just let them know. Just say, hey, man, I got problems and this is what I'm dealing with. I don't want you to babysit me. I don't want you to coddle me. I just want you to be here with me as a friend. And if they're a friend, they'll be there with you. They'll walk you through it, they'll talk with you, or just listen to you. And some people just need somebody to listen to. Some people need somebody to talk to. But if you don't let anybody know, who's going to talk to you? Who's going to listen to you? I don't think anybody, because it's hard to read people. If the book is empty, how are you going to read the pages? There you go. There's a food for thought. Right there. If the book is empty... How are you going to read the pages? That's just like you not saying something. So, I'm just here. I just, I just, you know, I always love being on YouTube. I always love doing my video games. Um, my doctor told me I should start uh, uh, doing counseling. Like, not being counseled, but counsel people. He said I should get a degree in it. He says, you, you seem like you're a smart dude, but you don't got the super brains. He says, but you're smarter than most because you get it. He says, you get it. And a lot of people can't get it. And, uh, yeah. He was like, you can relate to people. You can let people know. You might be able to change people's minds instantly. Where other people are trying to fight somebody. He says, you can be changing them. Right away. How do you even have to worry about it? that's just what it is and maybe I will I mean I'm gonna try it's all I can do it just sucks shit I just don't do things I'm supposed to do and uh and as soon as I get there maybe maybe things will turn up for me and uh be better but he says you're a bright young man he's an older gentleman and he says, you know, you can go places, you can take things. And I told him about my gaming channel, and I was like, oh, man, I try to talk to people on my gaming channel. And I try and let them know, and I try and help them out, too. But uh, sometimes, you know, that's only so far, but I want to reach out and do more. So maybe I need to take schooling and all that stuff more seriously. Because if one older dude can believe in me that's older, and he's got his own practitioner, you know, he's a chiropractor. So he has something, he has probably money and a life and he seems super happy. So maybe I need to start doing shit like that. Maybe my life will be different. I don't ever know. You don't ever know until you try. And that's where I keep failing. Cause I ain't trying there. I'm trying everywhere else. And maybe if I try in the places I need to be, maybe things will go easier for me and I won't have to try so hard. And then it'll just be cake. Said you should be like the best counselor ever. <laughs> yeah, I I mean I would try. That's all, and that's that's what I think anybody would want from a counselor or anybody with that knowledge and stuff like that. You're right, counselor. And uh, yeah, I counsel a lot of people already. I just don't get paid for it. <laughs> I pay you. I uh, know you don't. You don't pay me. Don't I don't pay know me what either. you're on, so I don't. <laughs> I don't want to say too much. I'm on. I'm on my stream. I'm live. I'm telling them that. I just told them about what's going on. Uh, I just told everybody just like pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I just, I just came here to ask what you want to do. What do you mean? What do I want to do? If you want to do it yourself and just wait or if you want to call Toyota and have them order the alternator. She pays you with it, her love. There you go. That's good enough. Oh. That's what I tell a lot of people though. Love, cherish, respect is a <laughs> lot more than, uh, than money to me sometimes. <sighs> I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I would love it if it paid my bills, but I don't know. I was, I actually had them to wear a jersey for me because mm -hmm. I'm coming in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'll have to dig real deep. I was like, oh, I have plenty. So I oh, grabbed all my jerseys. All jerseys are out. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering. So she, I said, you could borrow one of mine. 
But yeah, I was just letting them know that I'm probably not going to be on today. And if I am, it's just because nothing got fixed. <laughs> well, if you just, if you want um, Toyo to fix it. Put her in the vlog. I just have to uh, call them and they can order the part. I have to call her by four. It'll come in before they even open. Mm -hmm. So then they'll start working on it first thing. It'll be done by 11. Of course, nobody can pick it up, but yeah. pick it up. Maybe my dad can help you or Lana. Someone can come get you to get your car. Yeah. If you want to do that, and we'll just... Chan said he could take me to work tomorrow, too. If I can't get a car or something. Well, my dad said I could take the Prius. I just have to go up and learn how to use it. So I just need you to take me up there. And okay. Drop me Put off. Or in the vlog. What? <sighs> there she is. She's in the vlog. I'm a hot mess. Hot mess. Oh, that's I okay. I didn't do my hair. Normal life oh, shit. Oh, look at our notes. That's cute. That's for my daughter. It's my daughter's notes saying how much she loves us on our bed. Got good kids. Must have been enough for him because he left. <laughs> oh, my dad cleaned our gutters too. Hmm? Oh, my, my gutters aren't dirty. Yeah, they were super dirty. Like, he pulled out a big, huge clump just from, like, the corner right there. Of what? Where it overflows. Leaves, mud. He called it slime. It okay. was so gross. Maybe. Maybe some, I don't know. I just cleaned them right before. That's what I thought, too. I literally cleaned them three months ago. I mean, it's not a long time ago, but we don't get a lot of. Yeah, I think it's just mud. A lot of it looks like just mud. But we've had some crazy-ass, dumb-ass yeah, rain. Yeah, that's true. Dumb-ass rain and storms and But wind. I think ours get backed up because of the ground. Because he they goes, go well, you can ground. spend the extra money and get the ones with the little things over them. I go, oh, you can pay for that? You can pay for that, Dad? Be like, yeah, for sure. No, I, I do want to get those, but... That's when I'm getting my gutters redone. Right. And I'm not doing that anytime soon. Right. So It's that kind of stuff where I try to explain to people. It's like one thing at a time. Start putting too much stuff on the plate. Shit starts spilling. Like me. Yeah. I made a good analogy just now. I said if you don't tell people what, you are, what your problems are or let people know, they'll never know. Yep. But I said it's like reading a book with no pages. Would that book be very interesting? If it had really good pictures. No pages. No words. No nothing. It's just a book. It's just a cover front and back. That's you. Not saying shit to nobody. What? I tell everybody everything. Yeah, about everybody else and the dramas. Not yeah. yourself. Not your life. It's because it, it's just more interesting when it's everybody else's stuff. Your stuff is interesting too. Nobody ever asks about it. You can't read a book with no pages. Exactly. That's the whole analogy to it. Just the front and back. Well, there you has to be a picture on the front and back. Which or is, is it just plain? It's just a book. It's just a book. You open it, there's nothing inside because nothing's been said. We still need to paint this room. Yeah, I still need to paint that bathroom too. Yeah, we have the paint for that. Whatever. I just, it's my bathroom, so I don't care. Other mm. things are more important than me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shit needs to get done. So, what do you want to do, baby? Mmm doesn't really matter. Well, you need to decide. What do you find out on the alternators? Would you find on a pricing of an alternator? Have, it would have to be delivered. Okay, so no matter what, what we wouldn't have a car. Have... He didn't give a price. Shut up. He didn't give me a well, price. Then that's what I'm so I'm worried about is money. I'm not worried about the time and the labor. I'm not worried about anything else. If it's going to cost me $200 and I can get it done, then I'd rather do that position and just wait. You're probably going to make anybody dizzy that's trying to watch you. No, nobody's gonna get dizzy. Hold your hand still. I'm trying to, but you're making me. Oh, oh, am I? Am no. I? No, no, you're not. I'm just saying, if it's if money's another thing, then that's where I'm at. You know where I'm at. Money's the priority. If I can use less and take more labor out of my life, then I do that. But then I'm gonna miss the football game tonight. How are you gonna miss the football game? Because I do have you mean? to take care of the football. Oh, we didn't oh, no. say we need to do I won't it today. Have to. We won't get it today. Yeah, we. Wow. Yay, I won't miss the football game. Yeah. See, there you are. Actually, we have thought about that uh, a lot. We should have a reality TV show. People and tell us that all the time. A lot of people have told us that, like, throughout our whole relationship. From fucking day one, damn near. They said we're entertaining. We're definitely entertaining. Um, but just a whole bunch of shit. Because we ain't afraid. 
like I try to say, I just uh, be more open and honest with everybody, and uh, you have a very fulfilling and full life, fun, fulfilling life. So how about? Blah, 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 stop, blah. This is what we can do. Keep I can. Down to zero, but he comments, so it's like zero, two, one. How about this? I can go. We can go get your car. Take the Scion. You. I'll take your car up to my dad's house and then bring the the Prius home because we have to work at your on your car at my dad's anyway. Why? Because he has a big garage that's covered. Oh. Okay. That garage is gonna be no longer soon. Yep. We're gonna have to get a tent. Or I could just do it in my house and just get it done and over. Yeah, but if I'm going to get the car anyways, why not just have it there? Oh, no. If I'm going to go get the Prius. Because I heard the more you drive the car, now your water pump can go out. Now, a lot more things than just... Well, no there. matter what, we have to bring it from Toyota Piala I know, home. but then you got to do this to that to there to there. What I'm saying is more driving on Yeah, I'm going good. one place. I know, honey, but what I'm saying is it's not, it's not good. Calm your tits, lady. Not calm my tits. It's a $2,000 fix after that. Okay. After the $800 fix. I know. Honey, we had to replace a water pump with my car. Okay, but... It's 800 bucks. No, 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 no. But, it's but that was a long time ago. One that's on a 98. Honey, I know that. But no matter what, we have to get it home. So why not just take it up to his house? Oh, uh, you're not listening. See, you just want to do what you want to do. How are we going to get it home? You're not listening what I'm saying. Okay. The more mileage can cause another problem. So why would you take it further from where you can take it in the first place? They're and do the same. the same thing. If, can I Google the addresses and see which ones were Yeah, there? you do that. Okay. You do that. Okay. You're such a turd. I'll come back. See? Because you want to be right. Yeah. Duh. She always just wants to be right. Just argue with her. Man, I don't, we don't, I mean, we do argue, of course. Everybody argues, but... I don't know. It's whatever. Maybe I'll show you guys off to the doctor today. I don't know. But yeah. Here she comes. Oh no, she's coming back with Google search. You want some Cheetos? 120. I gotta go to the doctor too. Oh my god. Can you skip the doctor today? No. Why not? Cause I want to go to you. I gotta stay longer and be with him longer. Maybe I lose and get it over with. I like the guy and all, but time for something. Maybe I can. What? Why can't? Why? Why is it an issue? How about that? Because we gotta get your car. I'm sure everybody likes watching you eat Cheetos. No, they just said they want to argue. They said they should argue with you. Mm, I'll win. Yeah, if you want to see argues, that'd be fun. Those get better. Okay. That's when I start setting up cameras. That's when I get more money. From here? And I can start investing more money on it. 4.2 miles. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of how much it is my dad's. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right now, she's trying to prove me wrong. No, I think you're I'm right. fart. <laughs> yep, just did Damn. it. Damn. Bro, oh, it's six miles. Ah, oh, boom, chakalaka, two miles extra. No, 1.8 miles, thank you. <laughs> Wow. Eat shit, butthole. It's just not... It's just not her that does it. I got one at work. I got one that's younger than me. <laughs> one that's your child. I mean, one that's my here. child. Does the same thing. Proves me wrong all the time. For no reason. Nah, she didn't. She didn't mean... It's still... Point... 1.8 of a mile more to go the other Yeah, direction. but not that much. I was just trying to make a point of, uh, it just makes the car worse, and then if we have to pay more money later, it's more of a kick in the pants. Kick. Mm, I'm going to eat this whole bag. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my other car broken. My mm, other broken car won't start. She said, I can see your mom and you. She doesn't know she's not my real mom. Well, Kathy actually does. You guys hold similarities. Maybe it's because she has been with my dad for so long. She started looking like him. And that's what they say. And I'm like my dad's twin. Yeah. I mean, they do say that. They say that after so many years, you start taking on your partner. It looks and features. Mm-hmm. Does so that I mean I'll start to get more brown? No, you just get more sexier. That's it. 
You're ridiculous. You are ridiculous. I'm not. Yeah. You is. No, mm. I'm not. We're not supposed to eat Cheetos in the bed. Honey! On your pants! Oh, shit! I didn't even... That's gonna all go in the bed! <laughs> you need a vacuum in here now, because you're gonna stand up and it's gonna go... Oh, my God. I could just kill you. Yeah, whatever. It's my side. Yeah, except for you've been sleeping on my side lately. Mm hmm? Whatever. All up on my side. All up on it. All up mm. on my shit, bro. Oh, L. She proved you wrong. Are you guys... No. Are you guys married? Yeah, we just got married two years ago. Been together for 14, going on 15 years. Next year, 15 years. We got married because her uh, mother got cancer. And, uh... She wanted to see us married. Yeah, she wanted to see her daughter get married before she passes away because the shit was still real like that. She passed away in February. So, I never wanted to get married. It wasn't my thing. It wasn't in my cards. But like I said, I'd rather see somebody see happiness in their life than uh, deal with my own. So, we got married. Here we are. And, uh, yeah. Nothing's changed really much, but now we're married. We get smaller tax returns. Yeah, we get smaller <laughs> tax returns and more taxes taken out. And, uh, yeah. Not the life. Uh, you said um, parents? So 13 years? What? I think he said my parents. My parents have been married for 13 years. Let's see, when did our parents, when did my parents get married? How old was I? 14? My parents still aren't married. 14. They've been together 15 years now, 16 years. Uh, 16 years. Like 18 years. Oh, well, I thought they were only a couple years above us. They're like four or five years above us. They might have even just had their 19 year anniversary. Damn. Well, they got, they broke up for a while. They're cheaters. You want to break up? Start all over again? They're cheaters because they broke up for like two years and then they got back together. That's why they don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I don't know. I had to get them back together too. Because my mom's a pussy. So is Gary. I had to talk to both of them for him. Crazy ass people. But they're not married. They've been together, like she said, 19 years. I thought it was only like 16, 17. Whatever. I don't keep dates on that. After the first couple of years, you just kind of forget how many days, how many years have gone by. You just, you just say it to be cool. Just like now, I can be telling people, I'm like, Oh, we've been together for 14 years. And they're like, oh my God, that's so long. I'm like, yup, it is. And then you just think you're cool. It's what nothing cool. What if we did that? I already said that. I know, but do you think it was only supposed to be six hundred when no, we talked about this? I didn't care. That was what I was saying in the first place, no matter what price it was. Just so we're not getting hit so hard right now. And the reason why I would rather do credit is because Because you're not getting hit right now. Yeah, and I can pay most of it. Pay most of it now and then um with uh having it done at Toyota. At least if something fucks up, they can fix it. See, that's the only reason I was wanting it done at Toyota. Or just done in general by a person. It has tomorrow. to be... That has, you know, certifications and all that kind right. of shit. So I can blame it it's on them. It's fun. I would love to do it. With have, my dad. Have certifications on things? No. I put the alternator in. My dad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the alternator is an easy fucking... It was right one. there. Yeah. I unhooked it and I checked all the wires and I was really proud of myself because when my dad came over, he did everything I did. I was like, boom, bitch, taught me well. It was good. Suck my butt. That's the shit I hoped for with Stefan. Is it all those things I ever said to him or you said to him? All those things, I just hope it all works out at the end where he just. It all just starts working, and he's just like, oh, 
Oh yeah, my dad said that. It was pretty amazing. And then what? And then how about you go to? He wasn't an idiot after all. The chiropractor. When you get back, you take me up to my dad's. I think you should play. Oh, you have to go to the chiropractor. But if, if I'm gonna play, I'm gonna try and play Fortnite tonight. After my daughter's practice is what I'm gonna go for. If all the parents don't bitch out. Or I hope it starts raining then. No! I'm getting sick of that shit. Man, uh, I yeah. wanted to talk shit so bad at practice. I was so angry just looking at the other parents. I was like, you guys are a bunch of P words. Yeah. It's fucking rain. Hey, they'll figure it out. We live in the Pacific Northwest. They'll figure it out when when they fucking lose the team and the fucking they can't play the games. I want to get cookies rains. from Jess. I know you already said this. For all the kids. But listen, this is what I want to do. I want individually packaged cookies, each of them with a jersey with their number on it, and mm -hmm. a football. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. That would be cool. It's $30 for a dozen of cookies. You'd need 26. I'm actually, I'm thinking about playing Fortnite tonight. I need to build up the arc still so I can get that freaking arc game going this weekend. I'm gonna call my dad. Ah. He's smart. Nah, smart. He's alright. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dad. Uh, so, uh, what do you think we should do? What do you think? I texted think? you, but you didn't. What do you think? Oh, okay. yeah. Chill time. <laughs> Why are you so chinky? I just got out of the, uh... When I, where I work, I don't know if you've seen where I work. Uh, but I work in a freezer. It's like zero below, like... I think it's like 10 degrees below zero or some shit. But I don't know what happens, but my eyes get super like... It's like they get dry and stuff from the freezer. Like when I start getting back into normal, like... I don't know, it's weird. Like I feel hella low, like... Ooh. No, I haven't smoked anything. Like, see, if I change the direction of my camera, maybe that will change my eyes. Like, as soon as I get down here, it's, like, lower and lower. It's, like, sleepy open, sleepy open, sleepy open, sleepy. But, yeah, so, that's just what that is. No smoking, no nothing, nothing like that. Ooh, we can change the filters. We can put bubbles on here. Look at this. Whoa, we're on the bubble land. The hell? Retro. It says that you're not even in here talking. It's crazy. It says there's no viewers. Now, look at me. I am a cool cartoon character. Now go back to normal. But yeah, it says that for me too. Huh? Oh, it says you're not even in here? See, I don't know. My YouTube channel has been effing up. I don't know if it's just YouTube in general and they just need to get another update soon or something. I don't know, but like yesterday, it kept saying there were zero people on. Next thing you know, it was like eight, seven, zero, six. I'm like, mm, uh, okay, why isn't that working? Whatever. <laughs> but I was just glad everybody came in. Got some new subs yesterday and stuff like that. So that's always cool. I appreciate all that stuff. Appreciate all the guys that come in. It's always awesome and nice for you guys to come in and talk to me. I like bullshitting with you guys too. I like helping you guys out with your problems, like I said. Yeah, I know. What? That's so crazy. And like I said, I think I'm going to do a giveaway, like a $20 giveaway of some sort uh, uh, on 1000 So when we get to 1000 that's when I'm going to give away something. I mean, like I said, I ain't got a lot of money. So, like I said, that's why I always appreciate the donations and all that kind of stuff. And if the donations come my way, then the donations just go right back to... Uh, go right back into the um 
you guys, the viewers. Whatever it is. Yeah, I was just thinking about doing a PSN card or a, or an Xbox Live card or something. People that play video games and want to jump online and can't. I don't got the money for it. So at least I can give them a couple bucks to go towards that. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely give it to me. Are you from the States? Or are you from a different country? Well, just remember to keep on showing up and keep doing what you do, bro. Maybe it can happen to you. Oh, yeah, you're from the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I forgot. Bahamas. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do the giveaway because last time I did something like that, somebody from Canada, I gave them the card. They got the card when I was doing it on uh, Twitch. I think I did it for my 400 sub. And, uh, that's when I had a little bit more money and not in the shitty predicament I'm in now. But, yeah. Um, it didn't work. No, see, I emailed the code, I did all the stuff, and I gave him the code. But he said it kept not working. And then, come to find out, I guess you're, I bought it in the U.S., and I didn't know buying it here doesn't... You're not allowed to distribute the code everywhere where you want to. So it's like, that's just one of those things where, I don't know. I don't really understand it because I think it should be $20 everywhere no matter which way you look at it. Your money can convert. If it's $20 here, it's $20 there, it's still $20. Oh, I have a USPS4 account. Oh, well then you still could redeem it that way. Now it says there's one person in here. Finally. <laughs> but yeah. But the guy from Canada kept saying he couldn't get it. And then I was called a, a liar and all that kind of stuff. And I had to stream it online showing people that I'm putting in the code that I gave him. And it works for me. I don't know why it doesn't work for him. And then I found out he was from Canada. I did not know that at the beginning. His name was Tryhard. Tryhard 12. 12 something. Tryhard. He used to be a really good viewer. He used to come in every day. He was my moderator. He came in. He was like 12, 13 years old. He always told everybody to like and subscribe. And, and uh, we just had this positive power thing. And we kept it going. Like him and his friends. And. We'd always tell people to keep positive and positive is power. No, I gave it to him. He told me just to keep it. I mean, he stayed. He stayed for a while after the code. Uh, I mean, he stayed for like probably like three more months after the code. Uh, but. I don't know. He said he went on vacation one time and then he just never came back. I still have him on my PSN and all that kind of stuff, but he just never came back. Uh, and then I switched to YouTube and I told all my Twitch followers, hey, join me on YouTube, but nobody followed me. And I think I had like 400 over there. I had like 460. It says there's two people on now. I've got two likes. Cool, cool. But yeah. That's all that I got to say right now. Because I got to be going to the doctor soon. Yeah. I gotta leave for a doctor now, matter of fact. But. Yeah. He came back. He kicked it. He told me he's not too stressed about the code. He didn't even want it. He told me I could give it to somebody else. And it was already done and over with. And, and he, I mean, he went back on the stream and told everybody that he got it. And it was all good. What's that? I'll donate a hundred 
I'll donate if you take off your hat for one minute so you can see your receding hairline. Oh, my receding hairline. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. I just got a big forehead, bro. But thanks. Thanks for that negative comment. B B B B. What do you, I don't even know what that means. Nah, he was a pretty cool dude. Whatever. I just got a big. I got a five head, not a four head. You know that's what those kind of things are. Whatever, bro. You can donate a hundred bucks. Donate a hundred dollars, and I'll I'll definitely do that. All you have to do is press uh uh uh, uh explanation D, and that gives you that donation code, so you can get me a donation if you want me to take off my hat for a minute to see my receding hairline <laughs> like that matters <laughs> uh, you probably don't even have a hundred bucks to give so it doesn't even matter you're just talking crap where's Ark today mm -hmm. um that's what I was kind of on the stream for I was just telling everybody the aftermath of what I was going through and the shit I was dealing with and uh yeah, uh, today, I'm just letting everybody know, I didn't uh, set the beginning of the video to, is that I'm going to try and stream arc, I'm going to try and do Fortnite, one of the two tonight, I'm going to try, it all depends on, what, I can't even read it, I'm sorry, uh, Every morning you wake up in the morning wishing you had hair and... I can't even read it. I don't even know what beer, 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 beer is. How does it feel? How does what feel? I don't even understand this guy. This guy's just coming in to be a dick. And for no reason. That's awesome. Oh, you're BB. Okay, you're BB. So you're 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 quoting your own stuff and saying your own name at the end. Like that's kind of weird. Does it make you feel cooler to talk shit to somebody? Nah, dude, I don't even understand what... He's got issues. He's got problems or something. He's one of those people that just like coming in here and being a keyboard warrior. And thinking that stuff actually matters. Ha ha ha, how is it a dick if you don't have... Have a receding hairline. About it like, bro. Think about it, bro. What? Ha ha ha, how is it a dick if you don't have a receding hairline? Think about it, bro. What? I, I like to have my receding hairline. Check it out. It's cool. It's cool. Big old five head. Big old five head. That's cool, though. I got an extra like in there. That's cool. I don't even matter. I mean, I don't even wear hats until I get home. This guy's going to come up here and talk all that mess and act like he has money and all this kind of stuff. And, oh, donate to you. If you take off your hat so we can see your receding hairline. It's like, this is one of those guys that's been, he's been trolling me like this for months. And months and he's still trying to troll me and it like it matters he always comes in here and says the same thing over and over the receding hairline thing comes in with a new name and does the same thing over and over it's it's kind of weird like he's got to have something better in his life than going here and do that like that's I don't know I don't know uh, you have fun with that bro you have fun with that I finally downloaded Ark. Nice. Yeah, it took a lot, I bet.
He is not a man enough to... What? Why the hell would I shave my head? That's stupid. I don't want to shave my head. That just seems retarded. Where the hell told you that? No, no. Fuck no. Hell no. I like what I got. I don't even care. Like I told you, I don't even wear a fucking hat until I get home. <laughs> I know what I got. Dude, I'm older. It doesn't matter. You're going to get it too. Talking all that shit, you're probably going to get it by the age of 15. No, I've already accepted that. I already knew it was going to happen. It's been like this for a while, since the, like the age of 21. But I probably won't lose it all. My grandpa hasn't, so he just got receding hairlines on the edges, in the middle, just like I do. And then my uncle, he got a little one, but it's not too much. I don't know. It's weird. And then my my cousin, his shit goes back already. His is all thin out in the middle. Like, it's all gone. And it's all to the sides and stuff like that. I'm just like, whoa, cuz. He's like, yeah, no, shit. A family genes, you know? And I'm like, yeah, a family genes. Damn it. It sucks. But I won't, I won't shave my head. I will not go bald. I will not shave my head bald. I might trim it down a little bit, but I'm not shaving it bald. I'd rather just live with the marks of it. No, I don't do the comb over. I don't do anything. I don't do anything. I just let it go. It's whatever. But that's cool, bro. But like I said, you'll you'll you're probably a hairless chicken or something like that. You ain't got no hairs or no nothing. Nah, it's just nature, bro. Most people lose their hair. Most men do anyhow, and uh, go bald by the age of uh, like fifty and forty and shit. So it's just genetics. It's actually in the genetic code. It's actually a hormonal thing. It's actually uh, your testosterone goes different. Instead of just testosterone for your hair, your testosterone goes to your beard and your hair is everywhere else. Like, bro, I wasn't hairy anywhere else. Now I got hair on my chest. Now I got hair on my back. That's just the way life is. It has nothing to do with what you're trying to say or do or talk shit. Or I'm smarter than that. It's just, it's just genetics, bro. That's cool. And he comes in here and trolls it every day. But that's cool. I don't know why. He must be one of those people from Ark that hated on me back then when he got booped out and kicked. Because he was a douchebag then. Good. A lot of those people get reported because of the shit they do. Like keyboard warriors. They can say a lot of stuff on there keyboards but they can't say anything to my face I have a crisp hairline what the fuck is that dude This guy was B B B B B B B B. I don't even know what the hell that means. Bitch, bitch, bitch boy. Is that your name, bitch boy? B B. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that means, but I don't even know. I got like a three head. So you got a small ass head. You got like a little tiny head. Like three head, bro. Like three head. Look, 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 look. Three head. Three heads tiny. That look awkward. <laughs> I, I like what I have. I don't care. I love me. I love me and I love being me. <laughs> I love that you love to try and tease people when it doesn't work for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Your life must suck. That you gotta go around teasing everybody else. I don't know. I don't know what BB stands for. And I don't know why you would say BB after all your comments. Like that doesn't make no damn sense. You're talking to yourself in a third person. You're you're like quoting your own stuff. I don't I don't understand what that even means. Like that's weird to me. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like what you have, why do you have hats 24 7 in public? I don't have hats on 24 7. Like I told you, I only wear my hat when I get home. So when I'm at work all day, I do not wear a hat. So everybody sees me that way. I mean, one guy at work said, Dude, did somebody buzz you in the middle of your head right at the top? And I was like, no, bro, that's my receding hairline. And he was like, oh, shit, my bad. I'm sorry, bro. And I was like, whatever, man. This is what it is. But the only thing I ever get irritated about is when people like stare directly at it and they stare directly at it and I'm right here and I'm talking to them and they're like, and I'm like, what are you looking at? And they're like, nothing. I'm like, oh, you must be looking at my hairline. Yeah. I was like, I'm losing it. They're crazy. I'm not, they don't think like I noticed, like their eyes don't shift up and shift down, shift up and shift down. Just like when you're staring at some girl's breast and stuff like that, or her booty and stuff. It's like your eyes get lower, sideways, up and downs. <laughs> it's the same thing. They know it too. Just like I know it when people say that kind of stuff too. <laughs> That's where it's really funny. That's why I figured he's just talking to himself. So now you admit it when... What? No, I never said I didn't have a receding hairline. No, I've had it. it. I mean, it's the same. It's the same spot. I mean, it's been there since twenty one. I mean, I had the mohawk. I had everything, but it's right there. It just won't go away. Twenty one years old, and having the same fucking problem. Thick ass hair everywhere else. Thick ass hair, hair everywhere else. Right here. Nope, not a damn thing. But that's it. That's crazy ass receding line. Receding lines right here. It's uh, right there, right in the front, right there. But yeah, rest of the hair is all full, bro. It's all full hair. It's just right in that front area. One fucking spot. It's bald, receding, whatever you want to call it. Been like that for, I don't know, long ass time though. I don't even remember when it wasn't. I mean, I got pictures with me when I was 16 like that. It's just, just got like, I think I lose two hairs every every couple couple months or something or something. I don't know, but I eventually just have a little patch gone right there. Yeah, but I did go through it where I, I hated it, where I was just like, this sucks, man. I hate myself. Oh man, I was, I'm balding. I'm balding, and then I just started realizing, you know, we all go through changes in life and stuff happens, and we just grow up from it. And then we have people like you that come in here and talk shit. And, I'm not hating or being mean. I'm just telling the truth. No, you're being mean. Sometimes the truth hurts, bitch boy. Uh, well, the truth, it doesn't hurt. Because I don't care about it no more. You are coming in and being mean. And you're coming in and uh, being rude and there's no reason for it. I mean... Speaking facts, you don't know no facts. You didn't know nothing. You assumed and you were being a douchebag. So, that's what you were doing. And that's why you got reported. And that's what you're doing. That's I reported you for hate comments and uh, stuff like that. There was no reason for it. No reason at all. No reason to come in here and say any of that stuff. Because people can't handle the truth. You didn't know no truth, bro. You didn't know anything. You assumed. And what does assuming do? Makes an ass out of you and me. And you're definitely an ass, bro. You're kind of a douchebag. That was an asshole move. There was no reason for it. Just because you get picked on at school and all that kind of stuff, you don't have to go around picking on other people. That's rude. That's not truthful. It's not truthful at all. You knew nothing. You assumed. And that's just, that's just wrong. And you probably assume on a lot of people's stuff. That's probably why people think you're an asshole. Or you just don't say anything to them until you get on a keyboard and then you talk to them. Then you say, oh yeah, you're a douchebag. Oh, you're a little faggot. Oh, you suck dicks. Oh, blah, blah, blah. But I'm never going to say it in your face. 
because you're afraid of getting your ass kicked. Well, it's because that's what a troll does. It's a troll. He's been trolling for a long time. He's been trying to get this. I don't know why, but he's been trying to troll for hella. Man. Whatever. See? God said... Uh, who the hell's God? God said... God said not to lie to... So I speak the truth and try to find the truth. Truth hurts... You make no sense, dude. Because they can't handle the truth. You're quoting that from a movie. That's not even... It's not even you. You don't even know what you're saying. That's a movie quote. They can't handle the truth. <laughs> Nobody... You're... I don't know what you're trying to even get at. Because you said the truth. I still don't give a shit. And you're still going on about it. About nothing. Oh, no. Now that if anything was said or really did see him, he would be like, Hey, that's that one dude with the receding hairline. And I'd be like, Yeah, that is that one dude. <laughs> What's up, bro? Thank you for coming in and uh, giving me a view and uh, checking me out. Appreciate it. And then it would be just an awkward conversation because then everybody around him would be like, Why the fuck did he say that to that guy? What the hell? That's just rude. Why would you say that to some random person? Why would you do that? And they would think that. People around the world are going to think that when they see this video and see anything that goes on. Everybody sees it. They're going to be a douche like you or join or say you're an asshole. Okay, bro. Plans in place. Oh, yeah. You like wow. that? Wow. Honey, where's all the Cheetos? I only ate four more. Nice try. 400 more? Oh. I just opened that bag. I know, you ate a okay, lot. here you go. Here's the plan. Uh, the Napa here in town mm -hmm. has a Napa brand alternator, 174 with $88 core charge. Fine. What we're going to do is we're going to get the car here. We're going to pull the alternator. We're going to take it to Napa. Before we put... So I'm going to go to Napa and I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to get a new serpentine belt one there. Okay. Um, just to be safe. Okay. Um, and that's what we should do. Right. And then I'm going to... When we get the car back here, whenever we start working on it, we're going to pull the alternator... Take it down to Napa, have them check it, and make sure that it's a bad alternator before we put in the one that we just paid for. Yep. And then, if they say, yep, it sucks, then we're going to come back home. We are, But my, what my dad said is that sometimes there are other issues. Yeah, it may seem just like the alternator. My dad died. I mean, we all diagnosed it. Mm -hmm. You know, we all said, well, it's going to be the alternator. Right. I said it from the beginning. Didn't I? Yep. Didn't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know one or two things about cars. Anyways, um, they do have a rebuilt Dento OEM. For two sixty with a seventy three dollar core, it's in Spokane. Uh, They're gonna send it. Yeah, they oh. can get it here. Uh, either he said the sooner the better if they order it now to get it here, mm -hmm. or we can just stick with the Napa brand. My dad said the Napa brand should be fine. I've it, never heard anything bad. Yeah, the only thing is that it's kind of nice to have the what OEM, it is. the what Denso, it is. yeah. In there. What is the OEM? What does that mean? It was original even... equipment manufacturer. Oh, I'm not even about original manufacturer equipment. I'm all about aftermarket of anything because I think aftermarket is usually built better. So because they're trying to get you, and money. it's a rebuilt one that we're paying more for. Napa's is brand new. Yeah, and at least you can. What can you do with a rebuilt? Can can I say this is lifetime guaranteed rebuilt, and then you're gonna rebuild it for me every time? I don't know. That's exactly what I was talking to my dad about. Because that's more work. But what I'd rather about. get is just get the Napa one. The All right. Napa brand one. All right. Then let's do that. Okay. Sounds good to me. Are you sending me to Napa? No, I gotta go to the doctor. Right now. You can jump the Camry. Jump the Camry. It needs to be jump. Oh, that jump the Camry. Jump it like actually with a. Yeah, not okay. like jump on it. Yeah, I was just like, why the fuck am I jumping my Camry? Yeah, it's it's turning over. So why didn't you start it? It. it Oh, it's dead. That's not that's that's turning over is the that's a turnover. I've never heard that. Well, that's how it the goes. Turnover is always the clicking to me. Mm, that's just that's your okay. So Gary always taught me. Oh. Well, the but turnover is the actual over. the over, the arc. That's the over. Mm -hmm. It's just starting. That's your starter. I and know. if that doesn't click, then your starter's out. 
And you know what? When I did it, I was like, oh, well, at least the starter's still good. <laughs> but that's what that means, though. So when you're not turning, you know, I'm just, whatever. Yeah. Uh, brand new car. I hope not spark plugs. I mean, uh, the battery it completely died. And it was diagnosed. We took it in. I gotta go pay hundred and twenty bucks. Get it out of there. But, yeah, I'm gonna go. I gotta we get this to. stuff done. Yeah. So, uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for telling me I have a receding hairline. Uh, you thank take you your guys for off? being here. Oh, this guy came in here. He's been trolling me for months. Um, Talking about my receding hairline repeatedly over. Uh -huh. So happens when you age. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I told him. He said, and his parents told him never to trust a man that has a receding hairline. I was like, well, then you can't trust a lot of men in in life. Right. I was like, because it's just nature. It's just a my lot. My dad of people. and my husband are both very bald, and they I'm are the two bald. best people that I know. Receding hairline and bald. Your dad's going bald like that. Well, he's a lot older than you, babe. Yeah, but he's been going bald since I've been with you. Like, he, he's been going bald since like I was like five. Well, that's what I'm saying though. <laughs> what I'm saying is, is he's like I have a yeah. receding hairline. And you know what? Kara is six, four. and her dad is going bald. See that? No, 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 no. Your dad was <laughs> bald when I met you. I know. I was five when he started going bald. Yep. So look at you at my dad's age. You're gonna have a horseshoe. No, I won't. I won't. I'll no, have that front hair. So thick, right there. I'll, I'll have that front hair. And that's what it will be. It will be this little corner piece right here off. Just I think like I'm the rest just going to have family. to cancel our haircuts, too. Whatever. You do what you got to do. Get what you got to get done. Just do it. I'm going to get my nails done. Well, then get them done. Don't worry about I gotta it. I got to go to the corn maze, too. Oh, if balding men are scared to shave. And that's what he said. Scared to shave. I'm not scared to shave. I don't want to. See? Off their lying oh. to themselves. And cannot be trustworthy. Cannot be trusted. Uh, so because you won't shave your head. My bald. whole thing is that I have a friend that shaves his head bald all the fucking time, and he's been going bald since the age of fifteen. And I would right. not fucking trust him. I would just I don't trust him really. I really don't trust him. I, I, I associate with him. He's not really a friend friend. Uh, he's always lied to me. He's always treated me wrong. He's treated hella people wrong, and he's a fucking douchebag for the most part. So. Uh, whoever told you that scenario... <laughs> is he still in here? Is not... Is a liar. That's, he just commented that. It was him. Oh. So, your parents, your grandparents, your mom, your dad, your uncles, your aunts, whoever that was... Nope. Doesn't mean shit. Weirdo. You were lied to. <laughs> okay. So, you have a good one. So, Napa's on...